Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 27th, 2021. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, world weather, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours, always starting out on the sun, as we just, in the last image there, you can see we did have pretty sizable flare. As well, we're still observing five active Earth-facing sunspots, keeping an eye, a close eye on these things as they are active. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, no more space weather events have been thwarted our way. We are experiencing a slightly elevated solar wind speed right now due to the coronal hole that has been affecting and Earth-facing right now. Looking at outgoing, see in the last image there, that bright flash. That was the most recent solar flare. And as well, a coronal mass ejection just beside it. Another close look at the active region. Amazing. Amazing images. And amazing to have over 43,000 people following along with daily events worldwide keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love and prayers for humanity. Solar cycle 25 is definitely something to talk about. And we will be discussing more in the new year. Looking at the multi-spectrum here, all of the space weather events the last 48 hours, and we do have Earth-facing coronal hole and another one incoming keeping an eye on the equatorial region of the sun. 171 angstroms here. I want to give a big shout out to all of the memberships across daily events worldwide. I really appreciate your support to the channel's research and productions. And as well, all of the moderators, thank you so much for your help in streams and your spirit in the live premieres. Another close look here at the developing coronal hole that I was talking about. Iswa not reporting the solar flare just yet in its prediction spiral. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, slightly elevated C-class flare definitely being detected. Geomagnetic activity was elevated throughout the day today as we saw the solar winds pack up to about 470 kilometers per second after being average yesterday around 350 kilometers per second big flip-flop with the phi angle right now and as well the density topped up to almost 20 bunches looking at lasco 2 and this shows our sun but without the bright light in front of us, and we're able to see all of the solar winds that could possibly be heading our way. And as you can see, there's not much to show. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 27. It's about double from yesterday. As you can see, a healthy spike there towards the middle of the day. Amplitude of 27 and a power of 8.3. Let's have a look at earthquakes across the world. Brought to you by Walton 3D. We're going to start out here in North America, where the largest reported was a 4.7 in Oregon. Off the coast of Oregon, another 3.2 reported. Pretty quiet, nonetheless, across the world right now. Only looking at about 150 earthquakes reported by USGS. But some interesting quakes through Pinnacles as well. No swarms. Earthquakes continue through Gypsum, Kansas. 2.5 and a 3.3 there reported today. As well, same thing being reported here in Lagoff, South Carolina. So pretty rare earthquakes as well. Carolina. And then very quiet through Central America, the Caribbean Plate. Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, only reporting a 3.4 there. 
Calama, Chile with a 4.2. A couple of deep ones here in South America, in Calangasta, Argentina, 4.0. Down into the Nazca Plate, Southern East Pacific Rise, a 5.0. Hawaii, a little bit quieter than usual. 3.0 only reported today. Largest. And down into Fiji, where we had all the deep earthquakes recently, we still haven't seen that large shallow earthquake yet. 5.4 being reported there. 4.7 New Caledonia. Notable 4.9 earthquake here reported right north of Anak Krakatawa and as well up into the Indian plate seeing a lot of activity here Myanmar 4.7 as well as up into Pakistan here a 5.2 reported at a 45 kilometer depth 4.4 Gilgit and as well Skardu 4.7 Afghanistan reporting a 4.4 200 kilometer depth so they're seeing a lot of moisture recently. Now they're seeing a lot of earthquakes. 5.2 there, Iran. 4.0 reported in Greece. Only one earthquake here to report in Japan, in Ishiki, 4.4. And Alaska, largest reported earthquake there was a 3.6. Minor activity continuing. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabankaya in Peru, Shevelich in Russia, Fuego in Guatemala, uh, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia, Nevada de Chilean in Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. A lot of avalanches being reported across the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Yasser, Vanuatu, Raventador in Ecuador, Hunga Tonga Hunga, Volcano in Fiji, as well a lot of floods across Malaysia right now, Dakono in Indonesia, and Simaru in Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today out of the almost 50 now erupting volcanoes across the planet. Watch for their update coming up soon. Looking at satellite imagery here, still a large low over the Atlantic as well. A huge low over the West Pacific affecting Kamchatka right now. Extreme cold all across Canada. And a very strong high pressure ridge East Pacific. Satellite, satellite imagery here showing a lot of moisture across North Australia and as well Indonesia. Indonesia, uh, Philippines, West Java, Sumatra, and Malaysia. As they are seeing a lot of heavy rains, mass evaporation happening across the equator right now. I wanted to show you here the upper level winds. This is or winds at 10,000 feet. As the polar vortex has definitely moved in, throwing Extreme cold temperatures from Siberia straight into Alberta. Stretching all the way down to California with winter storms. Wanted to show you compared to last year at this time. And it was pretty unsettled last year. We almost had that double vortex. Double polar vortex. But right now we've got a pretty dominant single polar vortex. Hovering right north of Greenland. Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out home base Ontario as some pretty abnormal warm temperatures are still lingering around. We had mixed precipitation from that system we were expecting snow from. We got a little bit and then it changed to freezing rain. Most of the snow had diminished as Forecasted yesterday, high pressure ridge ate it right up, and as well, it's cold. So watch for that high pressure ridge to pretty much dominate throughout the week. 
Not going to see much moisture. Eastern Canada, most of the action is going to be across coastal regions, Western Canada and the United States, as they have one, two, three storms affecting them this week. Big, strong, high-pressure ridge just letting them ride the current straight down the coastline. And then you've got this equatorial Pacific low coming out of southwest California. Going to join forces with a Colorado low. My, oh, my, a lot of big things changing. Not much is changing with the forecast, though, with these huge systems in both the oceans. Interesting little whippersnapper coming out of Newfoundland. Got a deepened low heading into the Mediterranean. But again, high pressure ridge gobbling that right up. Warmer temperatures across Western Europe. Cold across Eastern. As the Siberian polar vortex is quite dominant right now and growing right across Russia. Not just affecting Eastern parts now. But it has stretched right across Russia. So watch for that to intensify over the next couple weeks as we are now in winter in the Northern Hemisphere. But it's going beast mode before it does. And look at these systems. Look at this big bad boy coming out of the Central Pacific. Will be affecting Hawaii in the long range. Observing all of the Indonesian moisture the next five days into Malaysia, even parts of southern India, Sri Lanka, rain this week. And then interesting system coming into Iran and Iraq, parts of Pakistan. Long range, you're going to see snow, higher elevations. Overlooking Australia, you've still got this northern low that is not going to be penetrating too much further south it's pretty much going to ride the coastline there high pressure ridge building in across the continent overlooking new zealand rain moving out of wednesday and then high pressure ridge for the rest of the week interesting long line of moisture here stretching pretty much from the equator to both poles right now be sure to drop, drop by the stream at any time and check out the total precipital water map and you'll see what i'm talking about things are dramatically changing we're seeing a lot more cloud cover a lot more rain and a lot stronger systems so here we are overlooking south america no major changes since yesterday's forecast little system moving out of Argentina coast as well as same with Africa not much has changed since last night's forecast I'm gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet right now I want to thank everybody for tuning in and as well hitting that follow button hitting the notification bell so you don't miss an update and as well being patient as I cannot upload every day but I'm trying my best doing what I do and I much I love you guys so much for that this has been an amazing journey so far and I look forward to many more years thanks for watching today it's been Mike with daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.